A founding waterfall figurines a harbour and a cyber port. We're on the Hong Kong Island Coastal Trail right here on Drone and Phone. Well, it's episode two of our island's coastal trail. It's a short one. What are we doing today, Jack? Today we start from Cyberport toward Wangjuhang. Nine kilometers. Bit of a misty day, but it's going to be great. Let's go. The Hong Kong Coastal Trail is designed to bring people closer to the waterfront to experience a wide variety of city, coastal and countryside views. Spanning 65 kilometers, the trail joins together connected promenades and trails that circle Hong Kong Island. The trail is split into eight distinct stages, which we have divided into five episodes. Today we're taking on just one 10 km section from Sunset Pavilion through to the MTR station at Wong Chuk Han. After dropping off the bus at the start point, we walk down to Victoria Road to our first opportunity to cut down to the sea. At the Sandy Bay Swimming Shed, we skip over a rocky beach to a wall that takes us to the Stanley Ho playing fields. Here, we make the mistake of continuing on the seaside of the stadium instead of cutting back to Sha Wan Drive. Okay, so we've come to a point here where we're not sure whether we're meant to coast here, across there, or we're meant to be up there along the road because the two are so close together on the, on the map. The answer was the road, which we had to double back to reach. Well, about half an hour ago, we were down there and we'd gone the wrong way. So we've had to go all the way round and back round. And now we're up where we should be. And we've got about one hour till it gets dark. The Cyberport Road takes you into Cyberport, though we turn off to the right and into the waterfront park that takes us on a pleasant stroll over well manicured lawns in between the tall towers of Cyberport and the sea. Here we mingle with dog walkers and fancy picnickers before making our way back onto the road for the next section over to Waterfall Bay. The official trail takes you on a loop up to Victoria Road and then back to Waterfall Bay, but we found a shortcut over the river and down to the waterfall directly. The impressive falls have a fence around them, presumably for safety, which is easily scaled if the gate is locked. It's unknown when the English first discovered the falls, but they are first mentioned in shipping circles in 1816 as a place to pick up fresh water. The first mention of Hong Kong outside Chinese circles. It is believed this may have led to the English interest in the island, and the rest, as they say, is history. Well, the first part of this trail is all along the road. Uh, there's a few small bits of trail, but now we're back off the road and along a paved trail that's taking us close to the coast. We've been down to Waterpoo Bay. Uh, how's it been for you, Jack? It was exciting. It's the waterfall, and uh, what's next? You have to watch. <laughs> What's next? Keep watching, we're going to go find something very cool. It's getting dark by the way, so uh, I think we're going to be doing Aberdeen in the dark. After briefly returning to the road, we drop down from the Wafu estate to begin a coastier towards Aberdeen, passing huge walls of ceramic statues of Quan Yum, Quan Tai and other Chinese gods. These are joined by the Virgin Mary, Lucky Cats and Thai Buddhas. The figurines, cemented to slopes and rocky outcroppings, make for great pictures in the late afternoon light. After some discussions on the right direction to take... Uh, the trail is along here. I'm worried that you can't get out. We get into Tin Wan Road and along to the jetty that protects the Aberdeen Typhoon Shelter. This is worth a short diversion before returning to the road past the ice factory and down to the boardwalk that will take us through Aberdeen and out to the MTR at Wong Chuk Hang. As the light fades, we enjoy the easy stroll past fishing fleets and pleasure boats anchored in the harbour. Well, that's it for this episode. A little over 10k we've done one and a half section actually on this one. How was it for you, Jack? It was really nice, super smooth. Except we have a little bit of detour. <laughs> yeah, we got one wrong turn. Now, if you're finding this for the first time, you're gonna find all of our previous episodes nicely catalogued on our website at droneandphone.com and also on our YouTube channel. If you search for Drone and Phone, please subscribe there. For now, my name's DJ. I'm Jack. This is, is Drone and Phone.